All right, so bear with me because we're gonna try this in one take to show you how cool it is. So today, we're finally gonna be going over streaming from the GoPro to OBS. So we have this camera hooked up to my computer. We're recording this in OBS. We have this GoPro already with a live feed to my computer. So when we switch this around, we're gonna give it a second. Boom, we're right there on the GoPro through OBS. We just changed scenes. And of course, because we're on OBS, all our overlays work. And because our overlays work, that means we get our alerts just like that. So you can see we're wireless away from our setup right now. We can turn on the lights because GoPro is garbage in low light. Um, and then we can go wherever we want to go and we can stream to any platform that we want. So YouTube, Twitch, Mixer even if that's what you're about. And you might be wondering, hey dude, why are you streaming in a garage? And that's because I'm an automotive window tinner. I've been a long time YouTube creator and I've always needed a convenient way to put a camera on my head and stream wirelessly to my audience because I wanna share with them in real time what's going on. And being strapped to the computer with wires and cameras and trying to drag those around, it just hasn't been possible to run a very good live stream um, and interact with my audience. So we're gonna go back to the computer and then we're gonna push this button right here. Boom, just like that. We're back to our setup and we can just continue whatever we do and not letting the technology get so much in the way. So we're gonna be talking about the two ways that I know how to do this. Unfortunately, both of them are paid. One of them is incredibly complicated. One has come about since my last video and is a lot more simplistic. So we're gonna go over the much easier way of doing it in this video. And then I'm also gonna link in the video description um, the other way to do this. There, it's a guy, annoyed with chat is his username. He put this really long, awesome tutorial that will teach you how to do it from your phone, but you need the structure from that video in order to get it to work with a GoPro. So skip to the end of this video and I'll show you the last remaining bits to get the GoPro to work with that method. So go check that out. If you have any questions too, leave them in the comments and I'll do as best as I can to try and help you figure it out for yourself. So we're gonna skip right over to GoPro to OBS. So here we are at GoPro to OBS.com. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom. They do have a quick guide. So if you have some more questions, you can check there or leave them in the comments down below. You click download, they will let you try it free so you can make sure it's up and running and you like it before you pay for it. Um, so then you click on this, that will open the installer. I already have it installed. Um, I already have it open. There's no tomfoolery going on here. Just, it's really easy to install a program. So this is what the program looks like right now. And the first thing that you wanna take note of is RTMP slash 192.168.1.208. So this is your local IP address. This will change depending on your computer and your home network. So your number will not be the same as my number. So you just wanna make sure you take note of that and slash at, slash at. Um, so then you wanna jump into your phone. So go to the GoPro app and click control your GoPro. And then it'll ask if it wants to connect. Um, then you just click join. It seems to be a little bit more consistent with uh, iPhones versus Androids as far as connecting to your GoPro, um, but that's just the app in general. Um, not sure why that is. Um, so now that we're looking at the live feed from the GoPro to the iPhone, which is something that I wish they could just do from the GoPro to the computer, and then this would be not an issue. But we have to set this up as a live stream. So you go to Setup Live, and then you wanna make sure that you're on RTMP. So you have Facebook, YouTube, RTMP. So RTMP is the lightweight protocol that lots of devices use. Thank God GoPro has it enabled for them too. So you click set up live. It'll take you to this nifty little live screen window. Give you the little check mark. So you can set your Wi-Fi network. I've already done that. And now you have enter your RTMP URL. So you see this 192.168.1.208. So that is the number that I need for my phone to tell it that's where I need it to stream. But the little at, at symbol at the end on the phone, you want to put app slash live. So 208 slash app slash live. Just copy this 
And the reason for that is it just needs some letters or numbers in those two spaces. So they literally could be whatever you want, but just keep it at that. It works for me. It should work for you too. Then you can set your streaming resolution. If you're on the eight, you can do 1080. Um, it does support that. Um, also 720, so if you're only on the seven, you can only stream up to 720. I haven't noticed much of a difference, but that's something to note. The last thing you can do is save a copy. Um, so if you wanna save a copy to your SD card, note that that will increase the latency um, and it will also burn through the, the battery much faster. You get about an hour and a half uh, without recording to the SD card and about an hour otherwise. So then we click um, set up the live stream and then give it a second so it's setting things up and then it should give you the nice blue go live button. Um, but before we click on that, we actually need to make sure that we click on for the software. So that's actually telling the software um, or the, it's actually making sure that the phone is gonna stream to the software. I have forgotten to turn this button on a lot of times and like beat my head against the wall and it's like, oh, need to make sure that's on. So once that's all set up, click go live and you can click this preview window and the little number showed up right here. So it shows the quality and some extra uh, techie things right there. Click preview and boom, there we are on my computer. That's awesome, super exciting. When you've done this, you know you're in the home stretch. So you can get rid of the preview window. Um, so we're gonna put this right down here because I've also arranged this OBS scene to hopefully illustrate exactly how to set this up too. So if I was just setting up a new scene, I would click this plus button right here if you're already this advanced with OBS, you understand this, so I don't need to explain from the ground up. Um, so we're on our desktop scene right here, and we already have a GoPro 8 right here. So if we enable this, boom, there's our GoPro scene right there. Now the way that I got this into OBS is if we look in the properties, this was just a video capture device is all that is. So it'll pop up in your devices, and then you just click on GoPro to OES. So we have like cam links, capture cards, Elgato, and then we just click GoPro to OBS. Um, and then I would click OK, and then boom, there you go. See, it just resized it even because you start messing with it and weird things happen. So that all works, no problems. Um, you'll notice there is an audio delay in between me talking and the GoPro video reacting to it. There's a bit of a, of a delay there. Now, they can only get this to work so fast off a of GoPro RTMP, so keep that in mind. You'll have to slow, or yeah, you'll have to put a delay on your microphone if you want the audio to sync properly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the last portion of things, which is connecting the GoPro through the Amazon server over RTMP uh, to your computer, and this is where like shit just gets crazy. So again, um, you should have watched that video, followed it in the uh, description down below um, because now you should be at this part. So that's where this all craziness comes to. So if we pop back over to our desktop view, um, I'm going to be a little careful what I show here because I don't want to give away all my numbers uh, to all my servers, but I will burn one of them to the ground uh, for the sake of this video. So go to aws.com, um, aws.amazon.com. It's really easy to find. Go to your AWS management console. Um, and then this is where you would have launched your virtual machine and made it from scratch. And then recently viewed, you can click on and view your EC2s. So these are all my virtual machines right here. So I have three of them because I wanted to set up like three cameras or you know use my phone or have one for a backup. Um, and these IPv4s, these are your Amazon IP addresses, and I don't wanna give them all away. Every time you restart your Amazon server, if you do, these numbers will change, so keep that in mind. But now we're going to go into OBS um, because you need to basically pull the IPv4 number that you want, so uh, you only should have one, so take that number right there. And then we're going to uh, bring down OBS here, and then we're gonna put our phone uh, on the other side, like up in, I don't know, like this corner right here. Um, so you'll notice this number right here. So uh, EC2-18-220-212-197. There's a lot of shit going on there. Uh, this, we're telling the GoPro to stream to the Amazon server is what's going on here. 
Um, so I like to keep it in a notepad so I can quickly copy it and then switch over to the GoPro and then click control your GoPro. Um, I'm gonna leave in the description too the formats for these numbers uh, so you guys don't get so confused. So you really just replacing your uh, IP numbers uh, with the ones that I, I'll mark with like the X's or something like that. Unable to join, perfect. Hmm, good stuff. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good, we're connected. So then we wanna jump over to live, set up uh, RTMP just like we did before, make sure it's on RTMP, let this load. From there, uh, this always takes a couple seconds because the phone is also doing a screen recording. Um, so then we want to copy and paste our RTMP here. It's just that easy when you have it all laid out. Set your resolution to whatever you see fit and then click set up live stream. So we're t literally telling the GoPro to stream now to the Amazon server. And now we need to tell OBS to pick that feed up off of the Amazon server. So as long as this all is working properly, we're going to go to our GoPro RTMP uh, source that I set up here. So uh, you're gonna basically, the way you get this is you would click plus and you would select media source. So for the other one, we did video capture device, which made it native. Here we're doing an actual RTMP media source. So that would look something like this. So you wanna make sure you uncheck local file, copy and paste uh, what I have in the description change out your RTMP uh, numbers or your IP address numbers here. You're gonna change those. Um, these are mine, so this is what it should be working. So if we close this, um, hopefully if we um, click hopefully on go, if oh, there we, we are. Click on go, oh, there and we are. And we're gonna mute our GoPro RTMP audio because it also does audio actually really well too. Um, so you're gonna notice a little bit uh, more of a delay here. So one, two, there it goes. See, there's that, there's a longer delay. So you got about a two, two second delay um, using it through an RTMP. So that can make it a little annoying when you're like switching sources and, and shit like that. And boom, that's it. We're done, son. Oh my God, what a headache of a video to put together. Ah, there's so much, like I tried to compress this all down into like a 10 minute video, but this took me hours to just record because I'm not super fluent in OBS. I try and do the best I can, but the, the RTMPs and shit. So let's look at what this looks like with RTMP um, on the server side of things. So this will go black for two seconds. Boom, that's it. This is what it looks like. Similar. Let's make sure we're not covering a microphone. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this GoPro audio. Our main camera, boom. And then, ah, oh, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a like, please, uh, because this was a lot of work. Um, and if you have any questions, again, leave them below. I'll try and answer whatever I can. But uh, this, this, uh, it's a wonder that this even works at this current state. So that's why I like the GoPro to OBS software now. Makes it a lot more simplistic. Um, but gives you guys a lot more flexibility. This is something that I really wanted out there in the world. I've had so much help from other streamers sharing how they do things. I've needed to throw back what I figured out too. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.